In the heart of Egypt, beneath the sands that whisper ancient secrets, lies a hidden world untouched by time. This is the story of a group of archaeologists who ventured into the shadowy depths of forgotten catacombs and awakened a curse older than history itself. Their journey into darkness would unveil horrors beyond their wildest fears and lead them to confront an undying terror. Dr. Evelyn Grant wiped the sweat from her brow as she gazed at the entrance of the newly discovered catacomb. Her team, consisting of the meticulous Dr. Marcus Hale and the eager intern, Ben, had been digging for months, guided by a series of cryptic texts found in a nearby temple. They were searching for the tomb of Pharaoh Khafra, a ruler whose existence was shrouded in mystery. As they descended into the catacombs, the air grew colder and the faint smell of decay lingered. The narrow passageways were lined with hieroglyphics, their meanings lost to time. Evelyn's flashlight flickered over a particularly detailed carving depicting a figure with an ink standing over kneeling worshippers. She felt a chill, but curiosity pushed her forward. Deep within the catacombs, they discovered a hidden chamber. The walls were adorned with gold leaf and intricate paintings. At the center lay a sarcophagus, untouched and sealed. Marcus carefully translated the inscription, Here lies Kafra, guardian of secrets, who shall rise when the sands are disturbed. Ignoring the ominous warning, they opened the sarcophagus. Inside lay the mummified remains of Pharaoh Kafra, his face obscured by a golden mask. As they documented their findings, Ben noticed a small, ornate box tucked beside the mummy. He reached for it, but as his fingers touched the box, a sudden gust of wind blew through the chamber, extinguishing their torches. Panic set in as they scrambled to relight them. When the light returned, the sarcophagus was empty. The pharaoh had vanished. Shaken, they decided to leave and report their findings. But the catacombs had changed. The passages twisted and turned in ways they hadn't before. Whispers echoed around them and shadows danced on the walls. Ben swore he saw a figure watching them, but when he turned, it was gone. As they pressed on, Marcus began to exhibit strange behavior. He spoke in an ancient dialect, and his eyes seemed distant. Evelyn realized with growing horror that Marcus was being possessed by the spirit of Kafra. The pharaoh was using him to navigate the modern world. Desperate to escape, they followed the markings they had left, but each path led them back to the central chamber. Kafra, through Marcus, revealed his plan to reclaim his throne by transferring his soul into a living body. Ben was to be his vessel. In a frantic struggle, Evelyn managed to overpower Marcus, but not before he inflicted a fatal wound on Ben. As Ben lay dying, he handed Evelyn the ornate box, whispering, destroy it. Evelyn, with tears in her eyes, shattered the box. A deafening roar filled the chamber as a blinding light erupted, consuming Kaffir's spirit. The catacombs began to collapse and Evelyn dragged Ben's lifeless body through the crumbling tunnels, barely making it to the surface. Years later, Evelyn stood at the edge of the dig site, now a memorial to those lost. She had sealed the entrance, vowing never to let the darkness escape again, but at night she could still hear the whispers of Kafra, a reminder that some secrets are meant to stay buried. The silent tomb remains a cautionary tale for those who dare to disturb the resting places of the past. The ancient curse of Pharaoh Kafra serves as a chilling reminder that some spirits never truly die, and the echoes of their wrath can reach through time to ensnare the living.